Assalamu alaikum. My name is Lucy. I'm from California. I just want to say that I had a great time in Algeria. It's really a country that will stun you and um, I think when I went there it was pretty easy. The visa took a few days and when I was there I felt safe the whole time and I really loved all the Roman ruins, the delicious cuisine and I think it's a destination that will surprise people and I hope you will go there. Almost like Algeria, sand, beautiful beaches, although in Algeria much more sand. Only been to Algeria one time, about 10 years ago. Wonderful trip, I've only scratched the surface. Tipaza, Jamila, La Blanche, Alizai La Asima. I look forward to go back, hopefully with Wasim, who will show me the true treasures hidden away beyond the sands of Al Jazair. Ahmed Hi, I'm Boris from Netherlands. Uh, I was in Nigeria a couple of years ago. It by far exceeded my expectations. There's so many things to see. Back then I could only see the north. I felt totally fine, totally safe. I can't wait to go back, but when I come back, it will be with Basim. Hello guys, I'm Costa Rolstad. I have been to Algeria before for 10 days. It's an amazing country. The best thing about Algeria is not the desert. It's not the places. The best thing about Algeria is not the food, it's the people. And uh, Wasim is a brother from another mother, so come to Algeria, visit, there are so many things to do. Largest country in Africa by land area, it's a must. I'm PC, I'm from Singapore, but I sound a little bit American because that's where I was born. But in 2000, who cares about that? In 2006, I was in Algeria, southern Algeria. We started off in Janet and we drove down through uh, the border in Tunisia, through the Tenere, through the desert, down to Agadez, and then came back up to Tamarasa, through the Hogar, the mountains. And one of the most fabulous times I think I ever had. Purpose was for a total solar eclipse that we saw in that year, and it was uh, as memorable as the people in the landscape of your beautiful country, Algeria. Hi, my name is Meta. I'm one of the travelers who wish to travel every country in the world. I'm from Denmark. Um, and I, when I visited Algeria, I must have been to Algiers the first time I came. And some of the things that come to mind when I think of what was really, really nice and surprisingly nice was actually the very restaurants in the capital. There are a lot of things to sort of cruise around the different markets. And I have things for lighthouses, so of course I went to see that as well. I kind of love how they always are in magnificent places for the great view. My name is Michael. And I'm Louise. And we're both from Sweden. Uh, I would just like to say going to Algeria was a very interesting thing. We spent about four days in and around the capital. I would expect so we went there to pass as a very interesting uh, kind of one hour uh, drive outside of Algeria or Algeria. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in the city, also the old town is very interesting, good food, uh, interesting metro, and so you get to see lots of interesting things. I remember a very, very nice seafood restaurant. It wasn't luxurious in any way, but it was really um, by the sea, uh, almost sort of hit by the water at high tides. And I remember we had this gorgeous and generous uh, fish and seafood platter and enjoying both of you and of course the, uh, the meal itself. It was really, really good. But <laughs> Hello, I'm Odette Recasa, originally from the Philippines, now I live in Los Angeles, California. I love when I went to Algeria because it's so colorful and the people are very friendly and I love the Casbah and there is so much history to see there. I recommend to everybody to go to Algeria because I had a fantastic time, really awesome. I. Get your travel dose for Algeria with Basim. Salamat po. Salamat with Basim. Po. Make sure it's Basim, okay? <laughs> Hi, this is uh, David Yang from Seattle. I completed 193 country uh, last year. Uh, yeah, Algeria is quite nice. It's uh, probably one of my favorite also. Uh, yeah, you know, travel over, went to the, a lot of the Roman site. It's the best site and there's actually uh, literally no crowd. You'll be probably the only few people there. Uh, it's great, the food's great, uh, people are friendly, I find, you know, 
it's really safe to travel around. Uh, when else I saw it? Oh yeah, I think I saw the uh, Egyptian Cleopatra's sisters or daughters, uh, uh, great mayor. Yeah, I mean, all the city is nice. So yeah, highly recommend it. You, you know, uh, I haven't been to a desert yet, so um, you know, I'm thinking going back eventually. Yeah. Hello, my name is Bengt Hildebrand. I'm from Sweden, a board, a former board member of Club 100 and webmaster of uh, Travel Club Club 100 and a member of Nomad Mania. I visited Algeria in 2012. I only went to the capital and to Tipasa. And I hope to come back and do other parts of Algeria, like Oran, uh, Constantine, and uh, some of the desert and mountains, hopefully. And I hope to do that together with uh, Wasim Alache and Algeria 16. Hey, I'm Max from Austria, and I've been to Algeria a couple of years ago, and it's definitely one of my favorite countries in the world. Um, I've only been to Algeria and the northern uh, regions and towns, and I definitely want to come back to visit the desert and Gadea and all the other places. It's really a lot of fun, people are super nice. Algiers itself is like a beautiful city that it, it sort of feels like a mixture between Paris and Havana. So it's definitely one of its kind, like really beautiful. And yeah, love it. <laughs> Hello there, I don't know if you've missed me or not. I definitely missed you. And I can't wait to come back to Algeria and explore all the places I didn't go to yet. So Bejaya and uh, Msila and Gijel and other such places you can expect me to join you soon and I really look forward to making new friends and having lots of Algerian experiences and don't forget Sahahuya.